Mate, there are jacks bouncing around in the backwaters here. I can't get deep enough in there though. You can see the ripples coming out, but it's still about three metres. Oh, he's still going in the back. Mate, he's cracking at something, eh? Oh, he got him! He come out and grabbed me! You little beauty! He came about four metres out to grab that. Oh, I dropped him. <laughs> <laughs> the keenest jack you've ever seen. Less than a foot of water. That is mental. This little splash prawn is getting it done. Oh, big one. Oh, look at that. Come on. Oh, oh, got it! Oh, got it! Yep, it's a good one. Welcome back to my lure box. In today's video, we're jack fishing in the rain. I'm getting wet, but loving it because I'm fishing top water lures and it's not something that I do very often, but it is effective. And I've had questions over the years about fishing during the rain. And uh, sometimes it can dirty the water up and things can go a little bit sour. But today we're gonna to be trying to do it on the surface using MMD's Splash Prawn. This is the 95 mil version. Have a look at this lure. Look at that for a perfect imitation of a prawn or a shrimp coming across the surface. Big heavy terminals because you've got to rip them right out of these mangroves before they get in and snap you off. Let's get into it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through how I'm fishing it, what I'm looking for and how I'm retrieving the lure and why I've chosen this lure for today. <laughs> he just hit it at exactly the same moment that it just snagged up. That is the worst luck. Exactly the moment it snagged up, he just smacked it. Oh, that's where he was, and at the exact moment that this thing just came beside that log, he smashed it, and I got hooked up on the log, not the jack. Right, keep going. I got the smaller one. There was something else massive in there. I think Jack or Big Trev, but that is it. <laughs> in the pouring rain, <laughs> it is on here. Look at that gorgeous little little Jack. He's going to want to go nuts. And I'll show him off to you because he, he's not quite done. I had to rip him, rip him over a log, but that is a beautiful top water Jack in the rain. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Otherwise, would have been a bit early for surface fishing. But uh, with this heavy, heavy cloud cover, and uh, the rain doesn't turn me off at all. As long as it's not super, super dirty, um, and then I'd use a little bit noisier presentation. This subtle little shrimp is doing the job. <sighs> Epic. Let's try and get that out as best as I can, buddy, without ruining your gorgeous little jaw. There we go, that's it. Out it comes. Oh, little tank jack. Go on, buddy. God, they're quick. How good. 
There was a much bigger jack in there, eh? A much, much bigger fish <laughs> that just hammered out and caught some bait. I think it got it, eh? Because it all finished really quickly. And um, I think that was enough to turn on one of his mates. I don't even know if you can see this because the rain's coming down so hard. My goggles are fogging up a little bit now and the, the cameras are going to find it difficult to keep filming in this, but I'm going to keep going anyway. While the bite's on, let's get after it. Mate, that was in like... That was in like 20 centimetres of water. They're just pushing right up into this little mangrove gully. Just squeezing the bait into this back corner, eh? down it's so shallow like the the min coder is just chundering up the set the, the mud and I don't want it in there doing it. it's gonna be scaring fish everywhere all right so this has got to be one of my favorite types of fishing chasing them with a heavy bait casting outfit so I've got my 200 Corrado with 20 pound braid 20 pound leader and it's on my five foot six eight to ten kilo short as heavy sticky bait casting rod and the reason why I'm using this is to pull them out so the jacks give you no time between crashing on the surface and then dragging you back into the mangrove. So you've got to have a little bit of punch in your rod to be able to rip them out. And um, the 20 pound line tends to do it for most of them. So let me show you how I'm doing it. Hopefully the, um, the audio is not going to get too drowned out here. I've got a mic on and it's, uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty worse for wear at this point because of the rain. But it's keeping the rain off the screen. So hopefully that's going to work. All right. See, so the whole thing comes down to casting accuracy and then giving it time to sit there. So there's jacks in amongst these mangrove roots and as this tide's been receding, the, the bait's starting to get squeezed and squeezed and squeezed before it has to come out of the, out of the mangrove fringe. And then the jacks are waiting there, either pouncing from the outside or they're tucked in behind in the shadows made by those lines the mangrove roots so they hold in behind the mangrove roots and sometimes you can see them sort of just poke out or nip around and grab your bait so oh there's one there now <laughs> just boiled it while it was sitting there it's followed it all the way out so what a great segue to talk through this because one of the most important things after casting accuracy is giving your topwater lure time to pull the jacks up. And it's easier in the shallows, but um, one of the things that I think people that come from, you know, bass or especially Trevally or Saratoga fishing, they don't give their topwater lure enough time in the strike zone. So even though jacks are one of, if not the most aggressive take on the surface, um, when they hit, sometimes it just takes them a while to make their decision or to find it. If you think about those mangrove roots, it's like a crazy maze in there and sometimes they'll come from three or four metres away down in the back of a mangrove if they hear a top water lure or something scattering or moving across on the surface and you want to let the ripples get out, call them in and then your lure needs to be close enough to those shadows or the structure for them to, to bite. So that's it, you want casting accuracy, you want time in the water in front of the fish, like right in against the cover. So you can see that cast there, like that is, that's deep in there, if you can pick that up. And I've just sat it there, I might have moved it like less than 30 centimetres and that's enough. So, you know, you, you can use poppers and fizzers, like the um, Boy Howdy is one of my favourites. This little um, MMD Splash Prawn has a technique all of itself, like completely unique, and that's one of the great appeals why these things are so effective. Not just on jacks, but absolutely everything. All right, it's that collar there, and the way you can work this thing, there's so many ways to work this lure um, that I'm constantly mixing it up, trying to work out what they're taking. Yep, we 
good one to... Oh, dropped it. <sighs> Mate, he just looked at me, eh? And just shook big mouth open. You can hop it backwards in under the snags and just, and just sit it there. And without even moving it, the jacks know. As soon as anything hits in there, anything drops, hits the surface, the jacks are onto it. And if they're not spooked, they might just be ready to take it. Oh, there's one under there. Literally, I just pulled it and, and I just saw something flash and there goes some bait. There was a little, a little gold red colour come underneath it. Maybe, maybe a baby jack. That's the, that's the sort of cast that you want to get. If you want to get numbers on the surface, you need to get it deep in there. And just little stabs of the rod, and that's why like a really heavy tip rod allows me to get an aggressive action that like pops or just flicks the, the little bit of water you want out in front of it or just throws a blooping sound out, and that's what you want to pull a jack up and get him excited. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but this, this lure has ball bearings in it that are placed in there so that this lure flies direct back to the snag. It flies in like that. And it's so direct and so true when you cast it that I can get it right up deep into these spots and it's not hurling through the air and fumbling about, blowing around in the wind. You need that kind of bait to be able to get into the jack's holes and to be able to get those bites. So. This splash prawn is ideal for me. This is super tight stuff. Have a look at this. Have a look how tight this is in here. There's no room for error. It's tight as. But there's still going to be jacks in this little creek. Like they're down in here with the mud crabs, with the shrimp and the mullet. They're in here feeding on everything going nuts. Especially late afternoon, low light conditions like I've got now. I mean, it's only it's like 2.30, 3 o'clock, but with all this cloud, I'm like, I'm going to try the surface a little bit. So there really isn't any creek too small. If there's a little bit of a channel through it, um, and if there's mullet getting around in here, then there's a fair chance there's going to be jacks. And uh, if you get them during the heat of summer, the water temperature's up, you can definitely get a surface bite late afternoon, no dramas or, at all. Ideally, you know, late afternoon, really early morning, they love the surface bite. But if there's rain around like this, you can test it out and try a few different retrieves and see what they're going to take. Hopefully we're going to give them some. might just mean that you slow your retrieve down if you're not quite confident that they're busting hard. The great thing about this lure is you don't have to like pop it or, or get it to spit out in front of you like a little prawn. You can just slow roll this thing and that, that retrieve like that looks perfect, just perfectly imitates a little prawn or whatever moving through the water. got to be prepared to throw it where no one else does too. Which that's the perfect example there. Like, What you're trying to do is basically lose your lure. Throw it into a spot where you reckon you could lose it if the jack takes it. That's where they're going to be sitting. They're super smart and uh, they don't move for a lot. So you have to put it right on their nose. Just seeing that all unfold in my head before it all played out. <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh. Dodgy on the net. Dodgy on the net. Yes, Jackie boy. Let me show you this. Oh. Just get these hooks out of the net. Oh 
man. There it is. Now this thing is angry as, so he's gonna he's gonna bark his way <laughs> back into the water. I think. I'll see if I can just give you a look at it first. Oh, mate, he is he is angry as. He's gonna get. Oh, he's, he's, <laughs> oh man. Well, I hope my, I hope my little bow tie cameras caught some of that because. Uh, he was so angry, I couldn't even get my hands on him to show him to you properly, but this is what he took. This is one of Mick Molner's MMD Splash Prawns, a 95mm. Now, I've done a review on this earlier in the year, and I said, because um, they were only released right at the start of the year, basically at the end of the jack season, and uh, so I didn't get a full chance to really throw these things around, but... These are a very special lure, and I reckon one of the best top waters to be released in the last few years. They're going to be right up there. They're in my top handful of best top water lures for mangrove jacket. If you haven't fished with one, you're missing out because they've got a technique and a and a retrieve all of their own. Their action is um, really unique with that little collar that sits at the front there. Mate, these things are just a treat to fish with. The way that you fish this thing, it's so subtle, and you can hear the cicadas. It's low light, like it's big cloud. We've had rain, and I'm fishing in the shallows, and I was like, I reckon it's shallow enough, and the light's low enough to pull the jack out and get it to take the surface. So, um, so good when it comes together. And when the hit is as aggressive as it was, really satisfying stuff. The profile on this is just so unique. I just love it. The way that it sits in the water and bobbles and bounces at rest, the way that these top water lures sit when then when you're not even pulling on them is really the thing that triggers a lot of them a lot of the time. And um, it's not just a, a stationary sit. It sounds weird, but when there's a little bit of surface, um, a little bit of breeze on the surface, and we're drifting back into the mangroves here. Got you deep in the mangroves. When there's a little bit of disturbance on the surface of the water, like that's all it takes. And to have these lures just bounce around supernatural, um, I think it really makes a difference. You know, big heavy top water lures that just let the water wash over them and they sort of sit down in the water, you can definitely get better lures than those. This is one of the lures that's real floaty, like a G Splash. They all have a similar attribute and um, man, epic, epic. All right, if you haven't seen that review, I go through this thing in detail. I get another jack or two jacks in that video as well. So I'll link that at the bottom of this video. But boy, these things are just dynamite. And Barra too, they've got nice heavy terminals on them. And some balls perfectly seated inside of that lure just to make it sit so naturally like a prawn at rest. And then move and flick and create a little sound that's just like a little skipping prawn. Closer than anything I've heard before. Can you tell I'm excited? Jesus, that got me going. Keep going. spin around and um, head out there's a couple of other sections like this really tight little you know like boiling pots at the ends of these little uh, runs that I reckon there might be some more action around now I've also got a fizzer I've got poppers in if things start to get even heavier like at the moment it's not too bad um, but if the conditions get worse where it's really bucketing down you might you might go to a bigger popper to pull them up or something with some shine on it like um, like my boy Howdy because as the surface water starts to dirty up 
you, know, you might use something like that. That's a boy howdy there that's really shiny. It's got a whole heap of light that it throws out. Um, and maybe you need to use that with the props to turn them on as well. So just going to see how this goes. It's, if, it, if it gets much worse, then I'll probably go away from this little prawn and try something a little bit more aggressive. All right, well, that's it for this video. MMD Splash Prawn for Mangrove Jack. I just love it. Let me know in the comments what your favourite topwater jack lure is, and I'll see you in the next video.